Yo, what's good? Welcome back to the channel, y'all. And look, look, look. In today's video, we're going to be going over the deck list from the Championship 2024 Wave 2 Hyogo Area Tournament. Before we continue, if you guys couldn't be able to tell, look at all these different decks. You got four BY Luffy's. I don't know what any of these other colors are, but god damn, there's so many other decks. You got Smoker in there, Black Beer, Luchi, Purple Black Luffy, Purple Luffy. You got Bonnie buggy rp luffy i think that might be red yellow sabo or red yellow bella betty blue dog i mean look the meta hasn't been discovered in 09 so you know we're looking for a great format ahead of us this is 09 this was the last tournament of 09 and the last tournament of 09 the first place the second place deck wasn't blackbeard wasn't dolphy it was literally by luffy so i'm actually surprised as hell they must have skipped Blackbeard the whole way through because that deck is a pretty much an auto loss. I think it's probably 90 10 for us. So I don't know how they both made it to the finals while skipping Blackbeard. They must have been lucky as hell. Everybody's probably not going to these Bandai events because OP 10 comes out this week for the East. Nonetheless, let's go ahead and go straight over all of the topping deck lists from the first place and runner up because as you guys can see on the thumbnail he was running some shisty ass shit so the first place deck from the bandai event that literally just happened a couple of hours ago was by luffy like i said this was the first place topping list i honestly just don't understand how they miss blackbeard because blackbeard is pretty much an auto loss but this is the first place list honestly this is pretty much all it all looks the same the only thing that's different that i've noticed in this particular list is the two ivan cough a lot more people a lot more people really the only thing i really noticed different in this list is this ivan cough um you know people are really starting to opt out to use this card i took it out i'd rather have you know some other cards i mean it's cool you know always having a blocker up getting the hiori effect as well but um you know i guess like i said when i made my master class this is all preference you know what i'm saying it's all preference but this is the first place list the second thing i noticed was a change was the four three brothers bond you guys see my list i'll show my list after this after i show you the first and second place so we could all compare lists a lot of people are opting out to run the four three brothers bond the only reason why i don't like running is because late game it, this just doesn't really do anything a lot of times you're really going into gecko leader effect and a lot of times you're just ditching this i always want to use a card late game so that's why i'm usually just running two and like i said earlier in a lot of my other videos if you have to go through four garp and two searchers and you still don't see the shit you need to see more likely you're probably just going to lose the game fact not an opinion but i mean this is a shicey tech a lot of people are running for another thing people are starting to opt out for is the kingdom come a lot of people when i still was playing op09 i literally been playing two to three hundred games op09 for all our videos that's coming out for all p9 whether it would be meta or off meta in this video you're going to see like two or three games that's off meta maybe something meta depending how i feel but what i've noticed is that this op09 set brings so much you know big bodies onto the board whether it would be purple black luffy purple luffy rp luffy shanks blackbeard almost every single deck even bonnie with green everybody's bringing out big boss monsters and that's what this deck struggles with i was initially running two and then before this tournament even came out i was already running three so me and the east are always thinking the same we're always two step ahead of the competition fact that opinion fact. i mean it's nothing but higher level thinkers over here and you're if you are watching this video you are now a higher level thinker because you look you tapped in as you should and after that the only thing i really see anything different from my particular list is this machino he is only just running one the main reason why he's only running one is just because so he can fit another uh, Ivankov. Okay, so he's usually supposed to be like a 2-1, but he wants the two Ivankov, so he just cut the Machino. You know? So this is the first place list like you guys saw on the screen. This is the second place list, and this is where some of the shicey shit comes into play. This deck is specifically built to beat Blackbeard. I wouldn't say Blackbeard, but to play under Blackbeard. If you guys are probably wondering why, is because last list, first off, let's go over the Kuzon. Last list, they weren't 
feature the kuzan on this list is this seems like this list is mainly focused on board removal that's why you have the kuzan that's why you have the one-legged soldier this is actually really shy i have never seen anybody use this card in this deck like this they took out the makino for the one-legged soldier you may send this character to the trash give up to one of your opponent's characters a negative three cost so it's pretty much like a you know like a miniature ice age in a way that has a 2k okay so that's pretty much what this card is i'll rather still opt out for the ice age because it allows me to kill anything that's a uh, cost nine or lower but maybe he opted out for this just so he can still have cost reduction and also the 2k because as you guys can see he only is running nine 2ks with the hiori's and also the flam piece so he is also running nine 2ks so this is actually really shice but the main thing that's really crazy is this car he's actually running the two nine drop kaido and i feel like this is purposely ran just in case if he wants to go first that's the only reason why i think he'll probably run this just in case he goes first because when you go first with this deck you're never ever using this on your nine don play so this is a nine don turn and allows you to trash a card on the field with a seven cost of lower and allows you to establish a big body on board as well the thing about this card is that when it's summoned you get to activate its effect by trashing a seven cost or lower and that's really shicey mainly against fucking um what's it called blackbeard because it allows you to trash the Burgess. That's the reason why this card is so good. I mean, if we actually take a look at Burgess and Blackbeard, because like I said, this deck struggles against Blackbeard. That's why I'm wondering how in the world did th these two decks become one? And everybody must not have came to this event. They must be getting ready to uh, play uh, OP10. But if you guys look at this right here, this character cannot be KO'd by our opponent's effects. That is the reason why they're playing this Kaido is to get over this uh burgess here because this is a problematic card because you can't be ko'd the fact that he did add this tech this deck is specifically tech for blackbeard which is actually really big and it's activate main when it's summoned so very shicey in my opinion i have never seen anybody use uh this card in this deck but this is actually a really really good meta call i'm not sure how viable this is going to be in op10 but to be honest with you this this is a really shiesty ass tech bro i ain't never seen nobody use this you know variation with a nine drop kaido but it does make sense if blackbeard's going to be running rampant like how it is and then the only thing that's different in this list is these two cards the kuzan one-legged soldier and the kaido and the one ivan cough so this is the deck list if you guys want to see my personal deck list this is what i'm rocking out with right now uh, this is my personal list. So everything is pretty much the same. Only thing that's different is I am running the two Bakino. I'm running the one Ice Age. Like I said, these are all flex box. These are all flex box, gang. So that's the reason why I am running all these cards right here. And I am also running the two brothers bomb because late game I be bricking. But yeah, so this is the first place. I'm gonna go over one more time. First place, second place, and then Flockoville's list right here. Okay, so well all that said let's go ahead and get straight into some of these games using this list let's get it so we got a game let's go ahead and get it straw always get the flampy search use the garp wow we didn't get no fucking cards bro that's that's crazy that's fucking crazy but yeah i'm surprised this deck got first and second blackbeard must not have shown up you attack a seven we always take this i'm actually so surprised blackbeard did not show up um in the finals or at all crazy crazy but it's our turn if you guys are wondering what my thoughts are on this purple black luffy i feel like it's good but it just hasn't been discovered we're gonna attack at five because we have no other play really don't want a flampy here i want to save my 2ks and then attack at six and it seems like he's going to attack me anyways to uh you know shorten up our life so i just want to see what he's going to do next turn when it comes to you know him attacking if he doesn't attack us we can flampy if he does attack us maybe once or actually he might attack us twice to be honest if he actually might he actually counters out with the so he is playing the black maria uh this purple black luffy is actually pretty uh pretty good deck in my opinion i just feel like we haven't found the correct build for it to be honest that's just my opinion go to the sabo 
He's gonna attack at six, so we could Flampy next turn. Oh yeah, we don't even need the Flampy. So uh, we are using this Sabo. I've tried out a couple of builds, gang. So we are using the Sabo. You guys are probably seeing. Just see how everything goes. We're gonna use Leader Effect. Mm. Either get rid of that Ace or that Sabo, to be honest with you. They're kind of both dead, but the Sabo does have a 2K. Yeah, we can get rid of that Sabo or uh, Ace, to be honest. We get rid of the Luffy, too, since we are using it. And we don't have a Sabo. We do not have a fucking Sabo in the grave. That's unfortunate. So we might as well go for that and um, Big Luffy bounce back. Put us at seven. And if you guys actually want to see me break down the gameplay of the recent tournament for the East, the last OPO9 tournament, just to see what it looks like, because there was a lot of black Luffy's, just let me know. We're going to attack at 11. You probably might block here. Takes it. Okay. You should have saw that game, though. So he brings out the brand new Sanji. Okay. Gains rush. He attacks at nine. We always take this. Because we already had another one in grave anyways. I don't know what was the urgency of doing that, to be honest with you. We're going to use the power up. We're at eight. He's at seven. Um, we don't have a Sabo either. Yeah, that's really unfortunate. We're kind of low key brick, and I ain't gonna hold you. I could try to clear board. There's a couple places we could do. We could rush with the ace, and then we could use leader effect, bring two back. Or we can pop with the uh, Luffy, or we can summon the Kuzan for some cost reduction. We can do that, and we also get a draw. I think that might be the play. And we actually didn't even get the fucking Sabo, but we're just bricking right now. That's just all it really is. Um, here's a Sabo, Zoro. Let me see. Maybe I do a Sabo. Yeah, let's do a Sabo and bounce back. Because I don't care if this ace goes back because I don't even have the little ace anyways. And we definitely don't trash here. We definitely do not trash. Yeah, we definitely do not trash here. Um, Let's just attack at seven or eight. Counters out. He's probably going to give me the blocker here. Yeah, it's gonna give me the blocker. Yeah, that's fine. But we established bodies. <clears throat> oh shit, my voice almost cut out, y'all. Shit is crazy. We established bodies. <clears throat> Tax at seven. Counter out here, hundred percent. Rings out the reset, Luffy. So he's going for game here. Rings out the reset, Luffy. That's fine. Tax at twelve. You always eat that. Is he going to try to attack at nine? I got the counter. Yeah, I'm just going to attack at nine. We're, we're going to have the counter, fortunately. Which is a okay with me, gang. A okay with me. Now we can start abusing the gecko. I think this guy might have lost because a lot of times the way this deck runs is that if they aren't abusing that nine drop giant giant. Or if they try to push for a game like what they just did with this uh, reset Luffy, a lot of times they're just so far behind at this point, they're pretty much going to lose. So, And um, to be honest with you, we have all these attacks on board as well. Only thing is, the only thing is, we do not have a fucking Sabo in the grave, which is actually crazy. So put that at seven. He takes that. We attack with six. See what is he doing? Attack at six. 
gives us a 2k that's fine um yeah this is unfortunate because we don't have a fucking sabo at all i don't see how we don't see any sabo I think the only play what we can go for is I could go for game. Keep it a hundred with you. Yeah, we could just go for game. He doesn't have Gungum Giant up. I put three. I could just put three on Luffy. Put him at eleven. And then I'll seven left and I'll be at eleven twelve. I think that's probably what we might do. Or we could just say fuck it, give him another turn to see what he can do. Or I'll just say fuck it. Should I? No. I don't, I'm not sure what to do. We could put three on him, attack at eleven. He does not have gum gum giant as as well. There's a six cards in his hand though. I'm not sure what he has. Yeah. So hmm. not sure what I should do here. We're gonna attack a Luffy at 11 and then we're just gonna attack so it didn't matter which way we did this yeah it didn't matter which way we did this we're always gonna attack at 11 and 12 so you know good game by my opponent but that yeah usually when they go for recent Luffy and they don't win they usually automatically lose from what you just saw let's go ahead and get straight to the next game so this game we got buggy y'all buggy and this is with the support so we gotta try to see some shice as buggy gameplay this guy, what I'm noticing, oh, now there's a lot of people that really know what the hell they're doing with these decks, to be honest with you. A lot of people that really know what the hell they're doing with these decks. He went first, did nothing. Our turn. We always go, we always go for the Garp search. Our end our turn. And we are running the uh, three Rego, I'm pretty sure. Use the Sanji's pill off. I'm not sure which deck I loaded up, but I'm pretty sure I'm using the uh the Rego. Rego Rego or Kingdom Come is so good. We're using Hiori. Bounce back. We actually draw the the ace. Doesn't matter. We're just gonna use our Luffy. Because he is starving us and get a so we actually didn't lose nothing. We got a 2k back. Lowered our life. Attack at seven. We actually look pretty good. Real good spot right now. But yeah, gang. Um if you made it this far thank you for tapping in you already know how we're getting down and um i still can't believe there's two by luffy's in the championship that's crazy so he uses leader ability and cheats out these two characters literally cheats out 12 dawn worth of characters which is fine he's literally starving us so what we could do is that we could use leader, not leader, but we could use the power up Luffy, then use Flampy, then use leader effects, be at 7k. And why I actually have an extra three cards in it as well. Yep. We always use the Flampy here. Always use the Flampy. So we got some 2Ks in hand, use leader ability. Could use the search actually. Yeah, let's use the search first to see what we get. And we still let's get the rock of Luffy. We still didn't get the um the Sabo. I don't know what it is. We haven't been seeing our Sabos the past two games. But we're gonna use this leader ability effect. Put this put the ace there. I'm gonna start applying pressure. Bounce back with the ace. Yeah, we always bounce back with ace. We have no other play. We're gonna attack at seven, attack at eight, and attack at nine. So we're gonna have to. We're literally about to empty out his hand. He's about to give us a whole bunch of cards. Eight. He's gonna have to start countering out. There's no way he takes all this, does he? He's taking all of this. Holy shit! Okay. Attack at nine. Okay. That's cool. So he's sitting on one kind of low early game and i think what his third turn or his fourth turn sitting on one it's kind of low because he has usually has no way to replenish yeah, 
he's actually sitting really low. He does have a ton of cards in hand, though. I think he probably has like probably nine or ten. This way he looks. How you guys feel about this buggy deck? That's another thing too, gang. Like, first off, it's YGLD, Yellow Gang of Die, YGLD. Shout out to all my delinquents. You already know how we getting down up in this bitch. You already know how we getting down, but um, you know, I haven't said my my anthem in a minute, so he actually goes out into the Jozu. Tax at seven. We always counter out of this. Uh, we counter out. Because we could always bounce back. We could go for the gecko. No, we can't go for the gecko. We always bounce back, though. We could bounce back and be at two life for 7k. That's actually not bad either. It always depends on what we get from our draw as well. I think we should we attack board though. That's a question. I don't think we should attack board. What do you guys think? Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and summon this Luffy. Bounce back. See what draw we get. We actually get fucking nothing, bro. I'm breaking. I haven't seen a Sabo in two games, gang. What's going on? Use this effect. This is crazy. Put the uh, power up at the bottom. Rocket at the top. And honestly, bro, I think we just attack. Um, we attack 10-10, right? Yeah, we attack 10 10. We're gonna try to clear his board here. Get rid of some cards in his hand. 10. He's definitely gonna counter out this. He's definitely counter out. He wants the big bodies on board. He's gonna give us two two Ks. If he gives us ones, that means yeah, he doesn't have two. He doesn't have any more two Ks. So we're about to drain his hand. That's fine. Drain his hand. 10 10. He's gonna have to give us four cards. Yeah, he just gives up. He has no two Ks. He has no two Ks. So we should be good. We shouldn't lose or nothing like that. We're at 7K. Okay, use Buggy's effect and he starts flooding the board. Okay, so this is the problematic card for us. Not really, just pretty much doesn't let us use um, Kuzan, but it's all right. So he is flooding the board. He's gonna attack at eight. Um, Counter out. We have to keep this alive, counter, here we go. Well, I'd rather had ones, but it's all right. We get a Sabo. We still haven't seen a big Sabo in two games. I don't know what's going on. We still have not seen a big Sabo in two games. We could attack at seven. He does have this blocker, though. Honestly, bro. I don't know what I should do. Honestly, I think we just go on a gecko and get two of our life back, to be honest with you. 
So we're going to attack at board. You just, need, you just need to keep applying pressure to the board, to be honest. Give us that 2K. Or give us some more counter. He gives us a one. Use the gecko. Bring out the two Luffy's since we don't have a fucking Sabo. Power up. Use Luffy's ability. Get rid of that. Bring back two back. And then let's just go ahead and kill this. He's probably going to give this up. He ain't, he ain't letting this go. He might go for game next turn. I ain't going to hold you. I am at nine, though. He might keep this. Two. Eleven. Twelve. So he has to win next turn. He for sure has to win this turn. He has to attack me. One, two. He uses this buggies effect. Okay. What's he going to put back? Usually you do this when I have a blocker on board. He put back a gecko. Okay. Why did he do that? He could have attacked for game. Yeah, why did he do that? I think he just lost. He brought out another one. Oh, that's pretty broken, bro. That's fucking broken. I don't know why he did that. I think he, and then he attacked with his blocker. I don't know why. I think this guy's just throwing. I don't know why he did that. Maybe he knew he couldn't win. Um, I don't know why he did that. He shouldn't have attacked with his blocker. I have no clue why he just did that. Yeah, he says, oh, I guess it didn't matter. It didn't matter because I drove the king to come anyway. So even if it didn't, um, even if he didn't attack it, I guess, it, I guess it truly just didn't even matter. Yeah, I guess it just didn't matter. He was going to lose anyways. So yeah, y'all, let's go ahead and just attack at five. You can literally just attack at five, attack at seven, and attack at five. Attack at seven. I'm just being a dick here. And then uh, let's just put the rest of the Dawn on the Hiori. Attack at five. Does he have the counter? He lost. Yeah, I don't know why he did that, to be honest with you. I don't know why. He could have went for game, but I don't know. Let's go ahead and get straight to the next game. <laughs> he goes into the law. Seems like every purple deck's using this uh, this law. It must be really that crack staple. But I'm going to be honest with you guys. We're going to use this flam P, and it's his turn. We have no other play. I'm not sure how I like this limb deck. From what I remember, because I've never played against this deck, I think everything comes out rested. This is kind of like a version of our green law. But with our green law, you need a whole bunch of bodies on board. Same exact thing with this deck, as you can see, if you have three or more rested characters in place, that so this is active. Pretty much the gist of this deck is this swarm the board. And if you have a certain amount of characters rested, everything becomes straight active. So I guess that's pretty cool. You use Hiori, put out the ace just to start applying some pressure. Hit him with seven, seven. Attack him for seven. Give me 2K. Attack at seven. All right. I still can't believe B.Y. Luffy was a mirror. It just tells you. It must be really diverse. Because every week, I wouldn't say every week. I think the last four or five weeks it has been straight um, Blackbeard in the finals. So I don't know how B.Y. Luffy got to the finals. He attack at eight. We definitely counter out. Get rid of a Sabo and a Rocket Luffy. Rocket Luffy, definitely. See he goes into. He's on seven dawn. Holy shit. He cheats this out. Okay. Wow. All right. Put up the one call. Okay, so this thing can cheat out something by taking some of the life. Okay, that's fine. 
We're at seven. Um, let's just attack at seven. Yeah, or attack this at eight. I'm sorry. Attack at five. Cool. Bring out this power Luffy, and then we're actually not gonna use our ability here because I honestly don't. I mean, damn, you're on fucking ten, Don. I think he's on nine. He's now he's on ten, so we don't want to let him be able to attack us for game. That's why we didn't take a power Luffy. He's actually bring out this. He had three or more rested characters to play. Draw one card. So did he draw a card? He did draw a card. He definitely did draw a card. Okay, so he's gonna attack at seven. Let that go down. Come on, attack me, pussy. I'm not feeling this, you know, bringing out characters sideways like this. I don't know. If you have two or more rest of characters, draw two card to discard two. So he's about to reconstruct his hand here. And since he does have three or more characters rested, I think that gets restanded, right? That limb gets restanded. Yeah, it does. Okay. I mean, it's definitely a different type of deck. I ain't gonna hold you. Use the power up. Um, so could use Rocket Luffy. We use Rocket Luffy, and we could literally pop yeah we could use rocket luffy let's use three or two sorry attack at 10 see if he counters out he doesn't we're gonna pop this limb and they're gonna attack at six so you got some good board removal we got a draw we haven't seen a gecko. I ain't gonna hold you. These last three games I feel like I've been bricking all three games a little bit. Still making it work. He attacks at seven. I don't know why he just did that. Oh, that's why. Brings out this Zoro, and I have three Kingdom Comes in my hand. So he's just gonna be salty right now. Kingdom Come. Drop the rock. There we go. Use the effect. Trash one. See, this is why Kingdom Come is so good. You get to remove a big body, sit at 7K, one in life. We'll all have it a Sabo on board. So this is the reason why I use Kingdom Come. It's just what you just saw right here. Get rid of that and get rid of this searcher. And we're going to attack at eight and attack at nine. Is he taking all this? He's gonna, he takes all of it. Okay. So we pretty much lost um yeah man so those are the decks that we played against that is the deck with the kingdom come if you guys do want to see the finals or want me to have some commentary with some of the games with by luffy let me know below and yeah y'all this is op09 we're literally two or three weeks away i hope you guys enjoyed the video that's all i got but look before i go if you're still in the vibes make sure you like comment and subscribe it all go.